Hello everyone, Rand here, we're playing Farming Simulator 17 on the Missouri, Mississippi, Ohio River Basin map. And since last episode, whoa, what did we hit there? I don't know what we hit. Uh, went ahead and finished planting the fields there. Fast forward in time here, two days. Yes, two days. Um, I think I may have fast forwarded time a little too much there and that kind of skipped a growth cycle or two. So that's why I ended up having to fast forward it two days. But anyway, our grass field here is ready to be mowed. Well, that's what we're going to get started on here this episode. I don't know if the wheat is ready to harvest or not. It should be, I would think. Or actually not wheat, oats. Oats, yes it is. Oh, and we should fertilize too. i just seen that. Probably should do that. Get a fertilizer over here. Or a sprayer, actually. Shouldn't uh, take too long to uh, fertilize the field here with this uh, sprayer. Actually, now that it goes much, much faster. And yeah, like I was saying there, uh, once I finished planting, I just went ahead and fast forward in time. And uh, when I did that, I went just a little bit further than what I intended on going as far as time went. I think I fast forwarded like a full 24 hours. Like, oops, didn't quite mean to, uh, mean to fast forward it that much. And I think when I did that, it, uh, it uh, skipped a growth cycle or two. We need to be over just a little bit here. There we go. Okay, back to the mowers. And this is the uh, first time I've actually ever used these mowers, so hopefully they work. Uh, New Holland H... 8060. That doesn't like the mud, apparently. Whoa. Hopefully we don't get stuck. Oh, really? What? Uh... Oh, there we go. Okay. I'm not stuck on the ground there yet. Uh, intentions are we'll probably set up a course play course for this. At least that's what I'm thinking. And we'll run both mowers, same field. One course play course there. So we'll get this one uh, set up. And see what's how this goes here. Looking at the size of this field, I'm thinking I maybe should have gotten even more mowers, but uh, we got two for the moment. Okay, field work mode. Field 20. Ooh, do I have this? I don't know if I have this field. Oh, I should because I plowed it. 28. No, I do not. Okay. Thought I would have had that one uh, in the list. I guess not. 28. Uh, apparently, I don't have automatic calculation of fields turned on. I don't know why I did that. Maybe if I just misclicked, but uh, I don't have it on for some reason. Working with 4.8, starting location, multiple tools, 2. Uh, we'll do this in the northeast. Nope, it's northwest, northeast. We want to go south. Uh, headland. Want to do a headland? Yeah, let's do two. Two headlands, three headlands. Let's do two. Generate the course here. Probably take... Oh, that, that didn't take too long to create that. I thought it'd take a little bit because uh, we're running two. Okay, we'll save this as a field 28. A 2x 4.8 meter... And for those of you using the newer versions of Course Play here, it's got some really nice new features in it for using multiple tools. For example here, multiple tools, two of them, and automatically calculates the width for you. And somewhere here, is it on this page maybe? Where is this again? We tell it left or right. Ah, here we go. Lane offset. So this one is going to be to the right um, I think I'm going to want this one on the left, because that'll be the outside, right? We'll find out, I guess. Ooh. 
turning on this is a, a little interesting. Okay, then first waypoint. Drive course. If I got this right or not. And all the offset set is there, there better not be. Hopefully this model works with course play too. That might be the other issue. Looks like it does. Excellent. And we'll get the other mower over here then. Definitely some tall grass here on this map. Well, let's uh, avoid the uh, mud here if we can. Let's go around this way. So we'll just load up the same course by course here then. Uh, field 28. I'm going to get these uh, organized here fairly soon. First waypoint, field work mode. And you are one to the right. Yes, I want him on the right. That should be close enough. Course play can take it from here. Oh, it's still a little derpy on the turn there. Oh, well, whatever. It's kind of the one thing about uh, course play doing headlands there. It always tends to miss a little bit. I'm interested to see how much it misses this time around, if they kind of got that a little bit better or not. Oh, and this is going to... Yeah, it's going to get probably to the uh, unfertilized section before the fertilizer finishes, isn't it? Oh, well. At the end of the world. Uh, I'm hoping also the Rhino Rake works. Um, if it don't, uh, we'll probably maybe upgrade to the Chrome Swadro. But uh, hopefully it does work, and we'll use that. Alex, I did, uh, what tractor do I have this on? 4640? Uh, that's by the 4640. It doesn't look good because it's... Yeah, I don't think that's going to work. And I'm pretty sure I have the newer version here. I thought the newer version was fixed, but maybe not. Let me just take a look here. What do I have in the, the shop? I'm pretty sure I deleted out the older version, so I shouldn't have it anymore. That is the one we have. I don't have any other ones. Maybe I have to double check. Maybe I got more than one in the mod folder. I didn't think I did, but I think we'll probably have to go with the Crow and Swadro there. Because uh, this looks like it's folded out and it's not going to work that way. Bummer. Such a nice looking rake, too. Uh, for those of you who watched the uh, Snatterton series, the uh, first time we purchased it, that's what we had. Uh, then there is a newer fixed version of it. Uh, it worked then on Snatterton's, but... Uh, Looks like it's still not working, because like I said, I'm pretty sure that is the fixed version. And I'll have to double check that. Too bad of a job on the turn there. I'm just kind of curious. I guess I missed it here. How do we do on the turn? Yeah, it looks like he missed a bit over there. Kind of figures. Seems like that's the way course play is with headlands. That's a lot of times why I don't like to use them. Maybe we have to look at uh, upgrading to some uh, Crone Big M's here for mowers. Or like I said, get some more of these uh, New Hollands here. Remember how much these New Hollands are here again. 110,000. So yeah, they're not that expensive. At least when you compare it to a Big M, we can get uh, we get two more of those for the same price of a Big M. But of course, it takes what three of these to equal the width of the Big M? I think. Yeah, basically it takes three of these mowers to equal the width of the Big M. Yeah, definitely missing a little bit on the ends there. Oh, well. Anyway, what else do we got going on here? You have finished. I think, right? You you finished? Probably a little derpy, but he's finished from the looks of it. And do I have any other fields that need to be fertilized here, at least with this anyway? Uh, 31, I was not going to fertilize with this. Uh, I think it is already fertilized, I think, but I'm not going to fertilize with this. Or at least uh, if we do, I, I want to get one more uh, toolbar here. 
Why are you not folding up? There we go. It's the third time I told it to fold up here. I wonder if I just wasn't patient enough the first time. Maybe it folded back out. So let's see what's there. We need to get a cultivator over to this field and then a cedar. Not sure what we'll plant here. Maybe some corn. Corn would probably be good. Anyway, we'll uh, read a few uh, comments here a moment. Uh, Marcus was saying, I hope for Farming Simulator 19, they have the option for different row settings for corn, like 30-inch rows and 24-inch rows or twin rows. That would be rather interesting. And at least the way Farming Simulator works, it won't really matter at all. It'd be more of a visual thing than actually a change to the game mechanics. Uh, the way Farming Simulator works is it plants the entirety of the field. So every last square inch of the field is planted in Farming Simulator. Uh, it's not like crops are actually really planted in rows in this game. So like I said, unless they uh, drastically change up the way they do things in the game here, it won't actually matter. Other than, like I said again, visual appearances. Uh, Mason was saying, can you do a tour of the equipment on this map? Uh, I think I did in uh, number one there, in episode number one of this. So I'd go back and watch that. Oh, look out. Snake crossing the road. Uh, you know what? Let's maybe just park this over here. I sneak through back here. Again, just trying to keep the equipment a little bit spread out there. We don't have as much lag issues. It's already a little bit laggy on the main farm the way it is here, so. I'll just uh, leave this over here for the moment then. I think we're done with it anyway. And then we want to get a cultivating tractor. Where is my cultivating? Oh, you know what? It's, I know where it is. It's right over here. Parked in front of the silos there, if I recall correctly. Yes, it is. Actually, silos. I think these are the fermenting silos. Something we probably should get going so we can get some uh, silage for the cows. Oh, that's right. 16 miles an hour. That's going to take a moment to get down to that field, isn't it? Right. Uh, Ryan was saying, uh, seeing how you're looking at the bigger equipment in Farming Simulator 18, you may have to buy the Massey Ferguson 8737 tractor uh, to pull them with. And he also says, excellent video. Thank you very much for that. Uh, we might do. Might do. Thought about uh, buying that tractor there last episode on Farming Simulator 18. Didn't quite want to spend quite that much money just yet. So that's why I kind of went with the uh, new Holland, just a little bit cheaper tractor. Uh, Temperance City Collections will say new version of U.S. Midwest now supports sugar beets. Ah, okay. Never did understand why I didn't support sugar beets in the first place. Um, and there is a modded modded version of the uh, Geo out there that does support sugar beets. Uh, that's what I actually I've been using. Uh, now again, I'm not using Seasons on this map here. Uh, again, it did not work for me. The game would not load if I activated Seasons mod, so that's why I'm not using Seasons mod here. Uh, plus, if I use it at this point too, it would be really bad for my cows. Uh, my cows would have a very bad day. So I'd probably have to figure out a way around that. But uh, yeah, like I said, uh, Seasons mod did not want to load for some reason. And uh, it does say in the uh, description of this map, by the way, when you download it, uh, I guess it's like a 50-50 chance of this map actually working with the Seasons mod. 
Um, I don't believe this is a Seasons Mod ready map, but that does not mean you can't use it with a Seasons Mod. You still absolutely can. Uh, it's just not going to support some of the snow mass and stuff like that. Why am I going this way? That's a good question. I guess we're touring the map here. We're going to just cut across the field and go where we need to go. I don't know why I turned that way. Whatever. Yeah, good excuse to tour the map. I have actually not been to much of the uh, stations and the sale places. I've been looking at all the places there. Like, oh my goodness. Oh, uh, Kyle, will play was was saying I would join, but uh, right now my farming simulator will not run anything newer than 1.4. So farming simulator update 1.4. Well, then I would highly suggest you make sure you update all your uh, drivers and stuff on your system. That kind of sounds like what might be the issue. You know, make sure your graphics card drivers are up to date. Um, make sure everything else is up to date on the system. You know, Windows updates, all that good stuff. And if that still doesn't do it, you know, try reinstall and farming simulator. And, of course, I don't know what uh, Kyle doesn't say what version he has. I like to say, I think I remember him saying he has the disc version. But uh, if you have the downloadable version, you can go re-download the latest, greatest one with a patch already on it. That might help as well. And we're just going to cut across the field here. Yeah, we own it anyway, right? Oh, no, wait. We, never mind. We don't. We don't own this field. Okay. Uh, Magnus is saying, John Deere for the win. Uh, Beatrice Wolf was saying, Santa's not fat, he's chubby. All right, good way of being politically correct there. Uh, I see County Boy was saying, can't wait for the next winner versus console challenge. Also asking for a link to the uh, John Deere 6R in the mod list. Okay, that's right. I'll have to see once if I can uh, locate that again. I keep forgetting about that. Uh, I know there's one in there, but uh, he's saying it's not the one I'm using anymore. And that could very well be the case. Uh, Magnus was saying I've been trying to play the horse map on my console. But uh, when you've been playing on the uh, PC, uh, you realize that the console is from the uh, Stone Age. Uh, great video as always. Thank you very much for that. Uh, consoles from the Stone Age. Wow, harsh. And we'll go see what's up with our mowers here in a moment. It's the one problem, of course, they run on multiple pieces of equipment. I was hoping that wouldn't happen, but uh, apparently it has. Oh, you know what? It actually has not. They're simply in uh, traffic with the uh, sprayer. Okay. Oh. Although the one's gotten in front of the other one. I'm not sure I like that. You're stuck. Why? Oh, you're hired it. Okay. I say, why can I not move you? <laughs> I'm not sure that's good with them being neck and neck like that. Is there an option to change that? Not really, is there? Say so with the combines, you got uh, combine convoy mode. It doesn't appear to have that with this, does it? Not that I'm seeing. Oh, that's a eight. So I'm going to get him on the next uh, field over here then. Field 31. Unless it's already done. It might be already be done. I see we got one application of fertilizer on it. I don't think I can do it again. We'll find out. Hmm. 
no. It does not look like I can fertilize it again. Okay, that's fine. We'll uh, move on to the wheat field then. Or not the wheat field. I keep saying it's wheat. <laughs> it's oats. Maybe I should have just planted wheat. That way, it, when I say it's wheat, it would be actually be wheat. Uh, that's what I was afraid of. You're going to be in traffic down at the headland there. At least I'm assuming that's what they're in traffic with this time. There ain't nothing else on the field. <laughs> there better not be. I actually want to stop you, probably. And we'll just set you to the current waypoint. That should pick up where he left off, I believe. I'm going to get just a little bit ahead here. So one thing, at least with the mowers here, you don't have to worry you know, about like loading and unloading like you do with combines. So once that mower is ahead, it should technically stay ahead unless something happens. Why did that? Okay, fine. Use that. Oh my! Uh, look around. Something went weird on me. Not sure what happened there. That was weird. Oh well. Uh, so I'm saying you can cut down the uh, pink tree on the uh, platinum map on Farming Simulator 17 on the Xbox. Interesting. Uh, obviously we can on the uh, PC here as, as I've mentioned and actually shown there. Last episode there on the uh, Platinum DLC map, we did uh, cut it down. Uh, Nicholas was saying, you're the best YouTuber. Thank you for the good videos. Well, thank you very much for that. Also, should uh, wish everybody a Merry Christmas here. Uh, when this video goes live, it, uh, let's see what's here. Well, be Christmas Eve, I guess. Should be Christmas Eve when I release this video. So anyway, wishing everybody a Merry Christmas Eve then, or Christmas, depending on when you watch this. Uh, of course, if you watch it sometime later, well then, I guess it's not Christmas so much, but... Uh, uh, Jacob was saying, keep up all the good work. I love the video. Again, thank you very much for that. Okay, we've got the uh, sprayer set up on this field here. Uh, Steven was saying if you ever look up Tom's farm on Instagram and scroll through the photos they have, the uh, John Deere DB120, those planters are massive. Yes, they are. Okay, again, hire the worker. And probably next episode, we'll be getting some uh, combines over here. And we'll be setting up the combine convoy here. Getting our, both our John Deere 690s going. And set up, you know, some grain carts, some truck courses. Hopefully be setting up everything here. So good question would be where to set up the truck and combine courses. Probably going to be probably right along this road over here, I'm going to say. And dog, you need to stop chasing the cat. Yeah, probably right along here. I think, don't think you can drive through this fence. Oh, maybe you can. We'll have to find out if you can or not. Obviously, don't want uh, course play getting stuck anywhere, so that might be a spot for it to get stuck. Okay, with that in mind, how are we doing over here? Can we get a uh, winner over here yet? Yeah, we probably can do the headlands. They're going to start going up and down now. Perfect. Nope, that's the 8R shop. The equipment we've bought that we haven't used yet, just sitting over here yet. Let's just see what's here. This, is this uh, going to work at all? Just fold it up, fold it back out, see what's what happens. Looks like that's going to be a negative.
turn it on, lower it down. No. Okay, I guess we're going to just have to sell this, unfortunately. And like I said, we'll go with the uh, Crone Swadro for now. And uh, probably in the future, maybe I'll look at... Uh, I'll double check and make sure the version I have is the newest one. Turn it off too. Okay, we'll dump it there. Uh, JC was saying I had 125 hours on this map until the save game went bad out of nowhere. Only halfway through Shell and Corn, my first year with Seasons. Well, if you're not aware of it, Farming Simulator does keep save game backups. So all you have to do is uh, pull the save game out of the backup there. You know, obviously earlier than uh, what it would no longer load for you. Which I mean, most likely was probably the most recent backup. So, you know, just pull the most recent backup and see if that one will load. And, you know, most likely the reason why it won't load is probably mod related. So if you really want to get uh, into the troubleshooting... It's probably a mod that's causing the issue. Okay, Crone Swadro. And I suppose we can pull that behind the 4640 yet. Uh, this is not Ross W's 4640, by the way. Uh, this is the one from the old Iron Pack. Okay, we'll take this out to the field here. Oh, uh, Farm Boy was saying I need this map. Uh, again, keep in mind this is a 4X map, so four times larger than your normal farming simulator map. Uh, Ethan was saying hi. Ashton was saying hi, as was... Oh, uh, wait a minute, is that the same Ethan? Might be the same Ethan. Okay, different video, though. Arkansas was saying it's funny how good the graphics are on mobile games. Impressive. Oh, yes. Uh, they are getting a whole lot better on the uh, mobile devices. Look out, whatever's running. Is that a turkey? No, chicken. That looks like a chicken, I guess. Just ran it over. Chicken wings for dinner tonight. Oh, Aaron was asking, did the uh, PC or the console win? Well, on the competition, I would definitely say the PC won. Of course, this should be the perfect size rate for this uh, field here. Okay, there we go. And I'll probably set up a course by course for this as, as well. I don't know if I'll do that right away or not, but... Uh, Definitely getting a course play course for this setup. At least that's my plans anyway. Uh, can we get five rows? Oh, uh, boy. If we're really good at driving, no, we can't. Okay. It's going to be four. We'll go with four. I'm getting greedy with, uh, getting greedy with trying to get five rows there. Anyway, looking at the time, looks like it's time to wrap up this episode. So that you folks have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching and until next time.